All right, so in continuation to the, call it a slow week in the shop, I just figured we'd do a little more updating and show you some more stuff that's going on. Um, Dusty, uh, I don't know if I mentioned it in a couple of the other videos, but Dusty got a new, a new mod. So we ended up putting a set of new coilovers on Dusty. Dusty wasn't wearing coilovers before. She had a set of factory shocks using some um, some RSR springs, it's just lowering springs, so nothing crazy. So Dusty now has a nice set of takeoff shocks and springs, well they're actually a full coilover system, off of, uh, off of another car that we brought in that was uh, going back to stock. Um, so this coilover setup on Dusty now is a Zeal function, which is pretty high end if any of you know the, the Japanese coilover stuff. It's a pretty, pretty high-end system. Um, Zeal is a, is a really good old-school brand from the era of Dusty in the 90s and stuff like that. And the, uh, the function line of coilovers is a pretty strong coilover. So full Zeal function coilovers all around on Dusty. Handling is insane. Dusty is literally just a set of tires away from basically a, a full race car at this point. And, um, I'm just going to keep wearing down these. The tires that are on this car are tires that actually came on these wheels. Again, another um, another import acquisition. So these wheels are the Volk Racing GR2s, or the G2s rather. Volk G2, Volk VR G2 you can see. Um, and they came shot in these Goodyear Eagle rev specs which is not available here in the US. So these are a Jap Japan only uh, Goodyear variant. Pretty cool. Uh, traction is really good with this setup. Not too bad um, considering it is a street tire. It's not a full race tire. But uh, the basic setup now has, has, has completely transformed into a more racy setup with the Zeal Function coilovers. They're set up kind of, kind of tight. So it's got a really good firm feel as it's going into the turns. Powering out's really nice. Real, really confident handling. Um, also picked up or found a Nismo, another Nismo shift knob. So I have the Nismo titanium knob right here. And I've been using this knob on Dusty for a while. It's nice, real heavy. But I came across this rubber one, which is the other version of the Nismo shift knob. It's kind of Got a nice squishy feel to it, kind of better on the hand, I guess is the best way to put it. So I went ahead and threw that on for now. I'm just trying it on. It's pretty nice. It's just a, a different, different touch. I like switching shift knobs around, stuff like that, just because it gives the car a different feel and it makes it fresh again. So it goes good too. Black, all black theme. Got the Momo knob, I mean the uh, Momo steering wheel. And if you haven't seen it yet, the Recaro SPG. So this seat is really really tight not for a big person at all i barely fit in it but it's perfect for me and uh really firm seating now so no more moving around in the seat going into the corners all around the experience is completely changed and uh i'm really happy with that so that rounds out the basic upgrades that we've done to dusty lately and that's where we're sitting right now we also did a set of coilovers on this BRZ, which is now ready for pickup. So, a little change of pace. If you guys are Subaru or Toyota fans, looks pretty good. Nice setup, and we got the triple blue going on, so this is kind of cool. Into that. Also, the golf clutch is now broken in. So, everything is ready to go on the golf. We've been testing it out. It, the clutch feels great. There's nothing, no complaints about the clutch other than a uh, slight clutch rattle that still has, but it actually got a lot quieter with the fluid damper that we put on. So big, big shout out again to fluid damper for helping us on that. And uh, the clutch feels great. So DKM stage two clutch, uh, single mass flywheel. If you, if you have one of these cars, Feel free to get one of those clutches. I'm pretty happy with it. The little bit of noise that it does make is not, there's barely anything at all compared to what I've seen uh, other ones doing. So 
This setup is really good. The brakes, the ECS brakes are nice. They're bedded in, everything's good. These are the ECS uh, rotors, drilled, cross-drilled rotors with EBC red stuff pads. So it's a nice, really, really strong braking upgrade for this car. Uh, that's all broken in now. The brake feel is intense. It stops so hard. I'm, I'm totally, totally pleased with everything on this car. Uh, the headlights, loving the headlights. Again, got them from ECS. Uh, they're the, well, I got half of it from ECS, I should say. The low beams are by Xenon HIDs from ECS, and the high beams are the uh, uh, De, De, De Auto LED, I, I don't know how to say it, DE Auto LED. Um, they're uh, an LED high beam. I didn't want to do anything like a xenon high beam because of the, the 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 light off or the starting of the of the xenon bulb is it's not great so um you know this way the, the low beam stays on the high beam comes on you get instant light because it's an led and all the color is perfect it all matches each other it's like 5500k so it's a nice white 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 light and uh no more yellow stuff i have the tail lights and and uh, the whole back section coming from the auto LED, whatever. <laughs> and uh, that's going to round out the lighting package on the car. So we've done everything now on the car uh, for the, as far as that goes. We've got a full lighting, headlights, high beams, low beams. We'll have the tail lights. We've done the braking. We've done wheels, tires. Um, again, we'll round out the tires. It's a Koenig Hypergram running the... Uh, <coughs> the uh, Michelin Pilot Super Sport. So that's a, a great tire, great wheel. The wheel and tire combo was just under, or just at the uh, factory wheel and tire combo weight. So really happy with that. Raw tech exhaust, everything's working really good on this car. It feels amazing. New zero to 60 times coming soon. Uh, I might even put it on the dyno again just to see if it's, it's picked up anymore. But um, the tune is awesome. Everything's good. No check engine lights. No more AdBlue. No more DPF. None of that stuff in there anymore. She's rolling a little coal. She's super happy. The Golf is a, is a really great car. So that's going to round out the Golf uh, project. As soon as I get the um, as soon as I get the lights, I'll, I'll show that that setup. And um, other than that, the Golf is, is ready for action. So hopefully. Uh, I'll get some more driving time with it, get out there and get some zero to 60 times. I'd like to see close to that 6.0, zero to 60. That's my goal. If I can get anywhere in that to 6.0. Right now, the best I've done was a 6.2. So um, we're almost there. So 6.0 would be, would be optimal. I'm still getting over this cold a little bit. Hopefully I sound a little better. You guys can tell I'm a, I'm a, a little bit, I got a little more energy and a little more pep in my step. I've been, uh, feeling better so that's gonna be it for now I will update you guys as we do some more um, and uh, I want to get my jet ski out too not gonna lie I want to get my scooters out I want to get my jet skis out there's just a lot of stuff I want to do it's just not enough time in the day to get it done um, I have a car show upcoming it's gonna be August 29th at Tijuana Flats here. It's the Tijuana Flats on State Road 7, 441, whatever you want to call it if you're local. I hope you guys come out. Um, I'm hoping to have quite a few cars out there. And we also have our own tile at T Flats now in the ceiling. So really proud of that, really cool. I'll, I'll make sure I put that in one of the videos coming up as well. Um, if you're in the area and you have the time to stop in, please do. Um, the show is going to be at 7 p.m. again, August 29th, Tijuana Flats. Don't miss it. And uh, I might do a live stream this week too. Feeling kind of peppy. So watch out for that. Maybe a live stream this weekend. I might get the other guys involved and, um, and we'll see what we can do. If you haven't checked out uh, Marcus's channel, go check him out. If you haven't checked out any other guys' channels, um, by all means, you're going to see some extra stuff over there as well. So feel free to go check that out. And I will see you guys maybe in the live stream. All right.
Peace.